And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales. It is good to be back. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight here at the Blue Rose Respite. I am your host, as always, Stephanie Swan Quills. And thank you so much for joining me tonight, everyone. And a big thank you to everyone who has renewed the subscriptions. And we have a wonderful hype train going, guys. That is a hell of a way to welcome me back. Thank you all so much. <laughs> All right, let me just catch up on the uh, my lovelies who have um, redeemed their subs and all that good stuff. Give me one second. Ah, da -da. So, firstly, Spiritwolf74, thank you so much for the resub. I really, really appreciate it for six months now. Thank you so much. For Barden's Odyssey, thank you so much for the 28-month resub. You're amazing. Thank you. And Hayden, what was your message? Hang on one second. Uh, oh, go away. Sorry, Hayden, you resubscribe at tier 3 for 40, 42 months now. R42 truly is the answer to everything in a perfect amount of time. Thank you so, so much, Hayden. I really, really appreciate it. And Samuel, thank you so much for the 36 month resub for three full years now. Happy three year sub anniversary. Welcome back to our magnificent Queen of the Fae, bringing the stars back, the pitch black skies, songs in the lungs of birds, and the cozy comfort of respite to weary heads. Thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. Um, as you may have noticed, things have changed just a little bit. Um, so I've decided that since, you know, everyone settles in when I uh, start a stream, rather than jumping straight into the game, we're just going to have a few minutes of catching up just to see how everyone's doing this week and settle in, then make sure everything is all good to go before we get stuck into the amazing game that I'm playing for the night. <laughs> oh, but thank you all so much for joining me, my lovelies. And Riley, I saw that you're a first time joiner us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. And you're from Portugal. I've been to Portugal before. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us. Mm -mm -mm. And Lost School, welcome, welcome. How are you tonight? Oh, Sam, you have such a wonderful way with words. Seeing Stephanie is like witnessing a miracle. A fey queen walk briefly in our world as she passes between planes. She has something beautiful to see that leaves me feeling like I will never see this likeness again. A chance encounter that the body freezes in the present. A shock of wonder erupts from my heart and a terrible joy creeps down my spine. I'm left weak and grateful. You're too kind. You're always just... I very much appreciate the poetry. <laughs> And uh, tonight I'm drinking a delicious glass of lime burners, which is a Australian whiskey that I'm very, very fond of because tonight is a very special evening. We're playing a game that I've been waiting to come out for so long and I am so excited. Seriously, like all like the past 48 hours, my stomach has been in knots from excitement and I've, I've been excited to return to Twitch and see all my lovelies again. Um... <laughs> Oh, but thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Oh, it's so good to be back. I missed you guys. And because I have still been very active on my Discord, even though I was on hiatus last month, and I did keep an eye out just to make sure that everyone was behaving themselves. And this is just for you, chat. Because many of my subscribers are also on my Discord, so I've been able to make sure that you've all been behaving. <clears throat> You did so good, my lovelies. You make me so proud. <laughs> and yes, I have added a few more uh, point redeem options to my list, including if you are bright and early and you are the first one to grab it, then you get uh, to redeem first. Like Hayden redeemed it tonight. He was uh, managed to grab that. So come in bright and early to the chat and you might grab the first uh, first redeem. As well as some other fun ones like emote only chat and no cursing for, I think it's like two to five minutes, I can't remember. Or is it longer? It's ten minutes? That makes sense. <laughs> oh, but my lovelies, thank you all so much for joining me. And a stretch check from Hayden. Oh yes, got to take care of my spine. All that good stuff. Alrighty, so 
Are you guys just as excited as I am for Baldur's Gate 3? Okay, how many of you have actually uh, bought it or considering buying it? Because the only thing I, um, I do want to say for clarity is I did get the early access. So I have played f through first couple of levels, first like main kind of story um, or quest that you focus on the most. And uh, so there are a few little things, if you haven't played this yet, that I'll be able to like maybe point out as like some fun little secrets that you can find. That'll give you uh, a little bit of a leg up of like starting the game. But there's a ton of people who have gone into much more than like nitty gritty detail. And honestly, this is a game where there's really no wrong way to play it. it there is so many options and so many choices in this game. So I'm just going to be playing it to my own comfort levels and my own choices. Furushu, thank you so much for the subscription! And as the ballroom were chatting between each other, the Countess enters the room. After a month of abs absence, she reveals her godsend face once again to her loyal followers, and the first words she says to us is, You want to watch me res up a hot vampire? <laughs> oh no, you were starting to know me too well! <laughs> Like, it was no question who I was going to be, like, spearheading the romance towards. Let's be honest. But, Spiritu, thank you so much for the eight month we sub. Oh my god, my lovelies. How have you been? Oh, I miss this. Uh -uh. And yes, the hype train has uh, ended at level three. You are all absolutely amazing. And I hope you enjoy those lovely emotes. Oh, but if you saw the picture that I posted on um, uh, Twitter and my Instagram story, that is my new streaming layout. So it's taking a little bit getting used to just because on my second monitor where I have like OBS and everything like that, it's a slightly different layout and that's taking some getting used to, but it looks really cool. It looks really professional and I'm very, very pr pleased with it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and I am playing this on my new PC and it is so shiny and so pretty. I have named my new PC Princess, and she's a very good girl. She's been a very good girl to me so far, so... She's been behaving herself as well, which has been nice, as opposed to Brat, which was my previous PC, who, if you've been to my uh, streams in the past, then you would know it would chuck fits and crash on me midstream. So, Princess is being a very good girl, Pat Pat. But... What do you guys think? Is it about time we uh, sink our teeth into Baldur's Gate 3? Is it time? Is it time, guys? <laughs> I am so excited! Mm -mm -mm. Alright, everything is looking good to go. Let me just do a little adjustment. Let's get that music going a little bit louder. Not too loud, though, I think. Because I have set a limiter now on it properly, so it shouldn't be too distracting. But, my lovelies, are you ready for Baldur's Gate 3? Okay. A few glamour poses first. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> and I, I wanted to get dressed up for the occasion. It's my first stream back after my hiatus, and, um... I need to make a good first impression on my love interest, so... <laughs> Vince! Runs in to give Stephanie Swankos the biggest, squishiest bear hug and the bestest buddy ever. Vince! Oh, how are you? Oh, perfect timing. We're just getting started tonight. Perfect, perfect timing. Okay, we're just about to get stuck into this game. I am so excited to play it. So, Vince, feel free to, like, hang out with us as much as you like. You know... You've been to my streams before. We just chill. We vibe. But, okay, just before we start, there is one more thing I just have to say. Um, you can hear me clearly over the music, though, right? Like, um, I did lower the main master volume for this a bit. Um, so it should still have that bombast to it, and you can hear it clearly, but not overpowering my voice. Also, there is Twitch integration stuff. Yes, yes, there is. Okay, you can hear me clearly. Good, good. Mm. Let me know if once we get stuck into the game, you can't hear the other character speaking and then I'll up the volume a bit because the voice acting in this game is mwah, chef's kiss perfection. And speaking of voice actors, I, uh, 
I just need to clarify something. So, I played a bit of the early, I played the early access. So there's some stuff I know, and the love interest that I'm spearing, heading towards. I. I really like him, you guys. And I always look respectfully, and treat him. I'm not going to say respectfully because he. He is what he is, but I do just want to clarify because he is voice acted and mocapped and portrayed beautifully by the amazingly talented Neil Newborn, who is also the voice actor and just actor of uh, Heisenberg from Resident Evil Village. I have such admiration for this amazingly talented actor. Um, I am aspiring to one day have the opportunity to work with him one day. And I have nothing but the greatest respect for him as a, a person, as an actor, as a prof from one voice actor to another. Just so we're clear, I am going to be so unhinged and barely holding myself together for some of these moments with the character that he portrays. So I just want to clarify that before we get started because I didn't want it to come across as like w weird or inappropriate b towards like the act like Neil or anything like that I just really like the character that he plays okay so I just want to clarify that okay just on the off chance Neil I don't know if you will ever see this or or even acknowledge my existence I'm hoping one day we get the opportunity to work together because that would be amazing but just on the off, off chance that you get to see this, I have nothing but the greatest fucking respect for you. Please don't judge me, okay? <laughs> okay. I just don't want to make an ass of myself completely. I'm, I'm probably going to make an ass of myself during the stream. Um, because I'm going to be streaming this for a number of weeks. Uh, but I just wanted to clarify that before we get started. And of course, nothing but the greatest respect to all of the actors, actresses, everyone who was involved with this game, because this was an absolute labor of love to make, and it shows. Um, uh, and also, just for clarity, just for clarity, um, there are op there is an option in this game to have it be a bit spicier with extra details showing if you get my drift i i have that switched off for my stream because i would like to keep my twitch channel and my youtube channel where i put my put my vod's um so that has been switched off if you pick this game up for yourself you can play the uncensored version shall we say just to let you know that, that's what I'm going to be streaming it as, but there is an option if you pick this game up for yourself that you can do that. Okay. Scarlet! Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, and thank you so much for the 40-month resub. Thank you so much, darling. I love you. Mm. Oh, Ferrujud, please. Please, don't you dare. I don't want to make it weird. Please, I am actually begging you. Feel free to clip me being, like thirsting over characters or getting flustered just don't make it weird and send it to the voice actors that's all i ask please just don't make it weird just let me have this okay guys all righty okay we've got a hydro check from jen mm -mm -mm. all righty so guys are you ready to settle in and get to play this masterpiece Baldur's gate 3 By the way, Steph, I've got a surprise for you coming back. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Can't wait to see what it is. But guys, settle in. I hope you've got all poured yourself a drink because we're all going to get a little thirsty tonight. Settle in and enjoy the adventure as we play Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to be starting out on... Uh, I'm going to be playing it as balanced because I like a good balance between roleplay and combat. But... It actually, actually, I like the way that this is worded because it very much plays into if you're a D&D &D fan and you like more roleplay focus and less combat, then you go Explorer, so I assume, assume there's fewer enemies, it's less of a challenge for like com the combat scenes, and it's just more focused on the story. And then, of course, there's Tactician Mode, because this is a turn-based strategy game. It's, it's Dungeons & Dragons. So, 
than if you want something with a little bit more oomph. So we're going to go balanced. And then I believe you can change the difficulty during the game as well. So we'll go balanced. Chaos, how's it going? Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Perfect timing. We were just about to get started. All right, guys, settle in. Let's get started. Thank you so much for the follow, Eddie. Thank you. I love this game so much. It is so beautiful. No, not I stuff. Hi. Please, please don't. <laughs> I need to remember my safe word. No, thank you. So, just so I don't spend the next three hours making my character, which is completely valid by the way, you're going to be spending a lot of hours on this game, so when you pick this game up for yourself, take as long as you fucking need to make your character. However, before jumping straight into edit appearance, I recommend set your races first, because if you decide to change like uh, your race or your sub-race, then you have to redo the character creation, like the cosmetic changes, all over again. So. Also, we get a little preview of, um, uh, you know, I'm going to be like, maybe not like, I'm going to be talking a little bit through it in more detail when we're going into like looking at early access stuff and my own like D&D knowledge um, and what I've been able to like pick up from just like social media and things like that um, because there's little interesting things about uh, some of these characters. So settle in guys, character creation is one of the best parts of D&D. So we have our party members. That we will be entertaining. Gigush, thank you so much for the subscription. Ah, oh, Cthulhu spawn into the eye socket. A classic. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the welcome back, Gigush. Mwah, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Hi. This is Astarian. This man will be the death of me, and you will soon learn why. <clears throat> we have Lazelle. I love her. She can kick all of your asses, and you will thank her for it. Gail. He's a prick, but he would we would probably have wonderful conversations over a glass of wine. Okay, Gail's not a prick. He's just very... He's a wizard. If that clarifies it. Hey, Berserk Boy, how's it going? Session Zero st stream where we spend the whole three hours in character creation or nothing. <laughs> And Shadowheart. Uh, I, I quite like Shadowheart. Sometimes she can be a little bit too, like, I don't know. Like, this is all early access stuff. They might have changed a whole, they probably changed a whole ton of stuff, like, little bits about the characters with the full game. But I like Shadowheart. She's cool. She's fun. She's a little spooky and I like her. Will, dashing, Devonair, absolute charmer. And the next one. I have a feeling it's going to be quite the favourite of quite a number of you, for reasons. Carla. 
the tiefling barbarian. She too could kick all of your asses and you will thank her for it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, look at her! Looking so respectfully. Carla, I cannot wait for you to join the party. Please, please and please. Crush my skull and use it as a bell buckle. I knew that would be your response, Sam. <laughs> and the last character that we have is a curious one. DJ Axeman, thank you so much for this resub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's an honor to be your follower. Sadly, I can't join the stream since it's late at night, but I can leave something nice behind. Have an amazing stream. Thank you so much, DJ X, man. I really appreciate it. And Seafox668, thank you so much for the 43-month resub. Thank you. Oh. Oh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Alrighty. And then the last one is an interesting one. And it was only... Because uh, this character wasn't in the early access. Um, but... That I have seen, when it comes to the Dark Urge, is that uh, Larian, the developers, have recommended if you want to play this character, they recommend that you play, you m pick it on your second playthrough or later, just because um, it changes some, their particular storyline, like changes some things with like the main story of the game, if that makes sense. So. You remember nothing but a path car paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Will you escape it? Would you even want to? Your appearance and class can be fully customized. So yes, you can completely change the look of this character. It's more like you're picking a unique backstory to go from. Um, and then it'll have different things that happen in the main story of the game. So that's the only thing that I'm kind of... Um, uh, I believe they're a dragonborn. I believe that this one, uh, like, appearance in particular is a dragonborn, and it looks so fucking cool. Honestly, you can't go wrong with the races in this game. Like, they just look... all oh, look so amazing! Um, so yes, there is, uh, some different things that happen down the path if you pick this particular character and, like, customize your character around that. Um, we're gonna be going with, like, our own custom character. And uh, I, I did do a rough draft, like, of what I kind of wanted my character to look like. Just so that I didn't spend a super long time on character creation, because I wanted to get into the action quite, like, promptly. So. <sighs> We're going tiefling. Because of course we are. Tiefling. And for class, so my main party build is I'm thinking um, probably a uh, Starian uh, mommy, aka uh, barbarian tiefling, <laughs> um, and uh, Gail probably for magic, Shadowheart for healing, and then interchanging Lazelle and Will. Um, like, we'll interchange quite a bit between party members because you need to have them with you for, like, certain story, uh, stuff. Um, but I just did want a character that was fairly, um, self-reliant and could also do healing. So I'm thinking, uh, Tiefling Ranger. I'm not a player that likes to min-max characters of, like, oh, if you play a Tiefling, you have to play, like, a Bard or a Warlock or even a Paladin because of, like, the Charisma Boost or something. No, I play- I make characters for, like, the cool story that I have in mind for them and also- to maybe kind of like balance out the party a little bit. So I'm thinking Tiefling Ranger. And so for that, I'm thinking Zariel Tiefling. Tieflings from Zariel's bloodline are empowered with martial strength and channel searing flame to punish their enemies. And we get the Thalmaturgy Cantrip. And advantage on inti uh, intimidation and performance checks, which is good because I was also going to be having, uh, I was also going to have my character be quite charismatic. So, we're going Ranger. How much for you to play a Halfling? Oh, actually, that's a good point. Do I not see what the different races look like? So, we've got Elf. 
we've got uh, different categories. We've got Wood Elf, um, High Elf. Uh, I've got Drow as well. I've got Tiefling, of course. And the Drow are looking amazing. Human. It, they're human, like... <laughs> you guys are more interested in probably the more uh, spicier races anyway. And we've got the Githyanki. The Dwarves, fuck yes. Half Elves, yes, yes, yes. Halflings. Gnomes. Dragonborn. Also, uh, I believe this is another little behind the scene, not behind the scenes, but like a little Easter egg thing. If you pick uh, Dragonborn as race and you and you pick Draconic Bloodline Sorcerer, then you get more uh, character like appearance options when it comes to like, I think you get extra horn options or like scale options or something like that for the coloration because you've got like dragon magic as well. So that's a fun little thing if uh, you're thinking about picking up this game. Actually, stuff I'm more into Leonins, Tabaxi's, Tritons, and Aarakocras. Like, I love those as well. Like, I would love to play a Tabaxi as well in this game. Um, I'm. They haven't yet confirmed if they're going to be doing any later installments or DLC with like other races and added subclasses. Like, the Artificer isn't an option for the classes, which is unfortunate. But honestly, like, that's a newer addition to Fifth Edition, um, which is absolutely fine. But it wouldn't surprise me if maybe like eight months to a year after the release because this game came out yesterday um so they they're probably like just patching any bugs and then taking a well-deserved break but it wouldn't surprise me if maybe later down the line um we get uh an expansion or like a dlc that you can buy it that just has more race options more like um subclass options maybe artifice will be added and of course we've got half orcs as well he's and yes, the modding community will jump on this right away. But let's start making our character, shall we? And Zariel Tiefling. And Ranger. Rangers are unrivaled scouts and trackers, honing a deep connection with nature in order to hunt their favorite prey. Also, um, I've played quite a bit of 5th edition D&D, so if you have D&D related questions, um, when it comes to, like, mechanics or, like, I, I'm not hugely familiar with the setting of this game, with, um, like, the world of Baldur's Gate, but when it comes to, like, D&D mechanics for 5th edition, like, feel free to ask questions and I can try and, like, answer them to the best of my ability. <laughs> Steph, be honest with me, do you think my favourite D&D race is going to be added as a uh, playable in Baldur's Gate cent centaurs? <laughs> Maybe not, because I have a feeling that would be tricky to build the models for and build the mechanics into but then again you have wild shape for druids so they could maybe try and find a way to work with that so i would lean on probably not but it wouldn't surprise me if we get maybe tabaxis or asmr uh asmr later mm. that's the thing i mostly play fifth edition D, D in like homebrew settings and not a ton of them based in Faerun. All right, so we're going Ranger, and we're going Beast Tamer, because I want a familiar. I want a friend. And I was thinking, studying the tactics and abilities of certain creatures has granted you a set of abilities that is useful, useful in a variety of situations. So we've got Bounty Hunter, Proficiency Investigation, Keeper of the Veil, you specialize in hunting creatures from other planes of existence. You gain proficiency in Arcana and can cast protection from evil and good. Mage Breaker. Doc Artemis, thank you so much for the subscription! Welcome back, Steph. I have to go to bathe in there, but I'll uh, be back to watch shortly. It's all good, it's all good. Thank you so much for the resub. If you go Cleric, what gods can you worship in this game? Actually, good question. Let's have a look. Uh, quite a few of them, I believe. Um, subclass. They, it's more like focused on the... Okay. Folks, there we go, there's the list. It looks like it's pretty much all of them, from what I can tell. Like, so that's the life domain. If we pick trickery domain... Okay, it's still the same list. So it looks like it's a lot of them. We've got Selun, uh, Bahamut, Tempest, Tyr, Helm, Mata, Ilmata, sorry, Mistra, Ogma, uh, Kelvimor, uh, Kelvimor, 
Morden, uh, Corellan Lotharin, uh, Carl Glittergold, uh, Gal Glittergold, sorry, uh, Yondala, Loth, Grimush, Tiamat, Elstre, Lathanda, Talos, Timora, and Miliki. We've got a, you've got a, again, so many options in this game. And it makes me really happy. We've got, uh, so back to Rangers. We've got Ranger Knight, you have sworn to serve a crown or nation, seek to bring its foes to ruin, gain skill uh, proficiency in history and armor proficiency in heavy armor, and sanctified stalker, you swore to hunt the enemies of a holy or druidic order, you gain proficiency in religion and can cast sacred flame. I'm going to pick Keeper of the Veil, because I really like the idea of being able to hunt enemies uh, that are like more exotic enemies and things like that. Steph says no crown but her own. Amen. That is the correct answer. <laughs> Alright. And Beast Tamer. Yes, yes. Just checking I picked the right one. Keep the veil. Beast Tamer. Background. Noble. Alrighty. Because I want those conversation options. Okay. So. I want to balance my stats out just a little bit. Um, my primary ones are Dexterity and Wisdom for attack and uh, spell stuff. But I am going to lower my strength just a bit. Because I want to balance my character out just a little bit. Yes, good. Yes, good. I mean, you can roll for stats if you've got some dice of your own. Okay, and check. I want to do animal handling. Okay, how does that look? The only negative I've got is religion, but that is um, off of my intelligence. This isn't bad. So yeah, I just wanted to bump my uh, charisma and um, intelligence up just a little bit because mine is um, an. My character is a somewhat educated ranger. She's from the noble background, after all. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with those stats. They're like nice and even across the board, and then we can... Of course, this is a level 1 character. So, time for the fun part. Let's customize our appearance. So, there are a number of options. You can do... Um, slightly different body types for, uh, so you can have, like, more slender, petite females, or if you want, you can do stronger. So, just, just a little bit more physical oomph, uh, for female body types. And then, of course, for the guys, you've got more muscular, and then a slightly more slender physique. Does this game have a fluid alignment system or uh, a rigid system? Uh, actually, it doesn't seem to have an alignment system. You make your own choices in this game, and so there isn't like a... You have to pick like chaotic neutral, like my character would be definitely be chaotic neutral. <laughs> but I'm planning on playing lovely slender character. Mm. What was that? Okay, let's hear that voice again. Let's hope the locals are friendly. There we go. And, yes, that, what do you guys think? Do you think that bone structure is quite accurate? As soon as I saw that face, I was like, I've seen this bone structure before. <laughs> All right. And got lots of options for scars, of course. All look very cool, very badass. I like this one, this more kind of more ritualistic looking one that looks cool. 
and of course my burn scar but I want to keep her quite nice and clean and you, this was a slider like when I saw that they did this this was actually quite lovely is that you can add more maturity to your characters if you want to play a slightly older character that has just like natural wrinkles and stuff uh, and I want to give her a few more freckles mm. I think maybe the freckles are more like on the rest of the body, but let's give her a few more because she's got some really nice ones along the bridge of her nose. And also, this I, this made me really happy to say it had a uh, vitiligo uh, pigmentation, so you can give your character that as well if you want. And it just, it's really cool. Oh, she's looking good already. I really like that uh, particular skin, skin tone because if you want to see all the skin tones, you can make your character almost any shade you want. Like, we can go complete, like, all the colors of the rainbow when it comes to, like, hair and, uh, hair and skin colors. But I did want, I did quite like this slightly uh, pinkish, gray, lilac sort of shade. And body art. Okay, so this is for like cool tattoos and stuff. All of them look amazing. And I have a feeling there's going to be quite a few warlocks uh, that are going to have a couple of these amazing tattoos. So many of these tattoos either give like um, barbarian or warlock vibes and I, I'm living for all of them. But I did quite like this one because she's a ranger. I'll show you guys what the other ones look like, but I really like this rose tattoo on the side of her neck. Also, that one's really cool with the beholder on the neck. That That's legitimately very cool. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys these because they just look all, all of them look so freaking cool. This one in particular, I loved. And so I have a feeling, because I'm going to be playing this game like again and again and again after I finish like streaming the, this playthrough with you guys. I'm absolutely making like a warlock that's a pact of the Archfey that has this tattoo because it, it, it looks so cool. <laughs> but no, for this character, because she is a very cool ranger. I'm going to give her the rose tattoo on the side of the neck. And I want to soften that just a bit so it's a little bit more faded. It's more of like a hint of it. And you can change the different colors as well if you want. But I quite like just like simple black. Also that jawline. I love that jawline. There we go. She's looking great. And got to do piercings because, yes, you can add ear piercings. And a couple of facial piercings, too. Where was the one I liked, though? These ones, these are the ones I loved the arch face swirls. So I think we're going to go with that. Matches the rose on the side of her neck very prettily. Going for a fall alongside her, Steph. I think it's almost a perfect match. Okay. I need. I'm missing the horns though. <laughs> but it is like quite spot on. <laughs> mm. Alrighty. But I think that's looking pretty good so far. Okay, her eyes. So, because we're tieflings, we do get some very cool options. So we've got the demonic red and a couple of different shades. So orange and yellow, green and red, 
pure green, blue, blue and orange, we'll have an icy blue, purple, purple and green. This combo looks very cool. Honestly, all of them just look so freaking cool. I do quite like uh, the blue eyes, though. I think they're really very, very striking, and they stand out really nicely against the kind of pinkish tones of uh, her skin. And you can give them heterochromia if you wanted full, like, Actually, that would be really quite cool if you wanted to do like a, a warlock character that had like mismatched eyes and one of them was like whited out and the other one was like really intensely colored. Okay, makeup time. I'm actually quite happy with that look because um, I like it that it's a little bit smudged, a little bit shovel, but it's not like super, super all over the place. Of course, you can give something quite simple with the tiny little love heart, which is very cute. Or some amazingly winged liner. Or full panda bear. But I quite like that. It's just enough shading. So many options. Honestly, this is why people take forever with like the character to creation on this game because they all look amazing. There's just so many options to choose from. And now on to hair. So, I am going to be giving her long open hair because reasons but uh another thing is like all of the hairstyles are across like all like the different genders as well so um you can have like a more masculine character with like the cute buns or like the long flowy ponytail same whether you can have like a uh, female presenting character that has got like shorter more military crop style hair or like super cropped hair is there a scar selection? There is a scar selection um, that has a couple of variations that we looked at earlier. All of them are very cool, but this hairstyle in particular I was quite fond of. One, the ponytail physics works great. Two, it's a hairstyle that I would actually wear. And three, it looks really, really good for a ranger and it works really nicely with uh, her horns as well. Now for colour, where was it? There we go. Was it closer to that brown? I think it was more like brown red. Hmm. Actually, let me just try something. No, I want to give her brown red. She's a tiefling after all. She's got like a little bit more like natural colors to her. And some highlights. I want to give her maybe like more of an orangey sort of highlight. There we go. What do you guys think? Is that close enough to my hair? I think so. It's like my hair when it's like freshly done at the salon. <laughs> But I think she's looking pretty doggone great. And yes, the hair lights enough, highlights enough that it kind of blends in nicely. There we go. And also you can add graying to your character's hair as well if you wanted to do like either graying from stress or old age. And it's quite nice that it's got a natural kind of age slider as well. So I could give my character a few gray hairs if I wanted to. And also facial hair across like different body types as well, so more masculine, more feminine. Give my character a big bushy beard if I want to. Okay, and horns. So, these ones are nice, but I like these ones a little bit better. More Maleficent vibes. And I think I wanted to make them just a little darker. And you can change the colours of the tips of your horns as well. And yes, more crown-like. Yes, yes. A little bit too red, I think. So maybe more... Okay, what do you guys think? 
I think she looks pretty amazing. Like, I... There's a reason I kind of skimmed through uh, character creation already. Otherwise, we'd just be spending so long picking all the options. I really like this look for her as a, like, noble-born, like, ranger. You know, a little bit rough, a little bit disheveled, but, like, she still has that poise and elegance to her. Looked a little bit too much like blood the first time. Yes, I agree. This feels like more like it's just a natural kind of gradient that just matches her hair color as well. I'm not going to make it through this game. Oh, buckle up. We haven't even met the rest of the party members yet. It gets so much better. <laughs> hmm. But I love it that you have all of these amazing color options. And so you can go for technicolor like fey wild colorful shenanigans or you can do full or like dark and brooding like oh my family's dead i'm a criminal on the run <laughs> like super broody super moody but i think she is a lovely balance and look at the tail oh my tiefling girl i love her <laughs> Alrighty, I'm very happy with her. Okay, Zariel Tiefling, level 1 Ranger. Good, good, good. Natural Explorer. I'm just doing a quick check that everything I wanted is picked. Keeper of the Veil. Oh yes, there are a number of options for monks in this game as well. Um, there we go. Um, but of course, I think you can just look at them up on the website for all the different subclass options. There's so many subclass options in this game. So, let us proceed. Now, a name. I was thinking about this for a while, and I rem there's usually one go-to name that I go for, like um, with like fantasy games, like. Uh, Dragon Age or games like this and we named um, my character for the Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough that name which was Celeste. I wanted to go with a similar thing I wanted it to start with an S because I'm very much kind of emulating myself a little bit in this character but I wanted to give it slightly more of a tiefling spin um, so I thought of this Silesia a little bit named art, like inspired by the word salacious because she she's spicy. She's a spicy girl. <laughs> Medline man, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so so much. I really appreciate it. Hello everyone, glad to be back. Oh, and also mods, just so you know, I actually have chat commands now. Um you can see them in my about section. Um a list of the ones that are more like stream focused or like if someone asks about like my YouTube or like other socials, there's like a quick command now that'll bring up a link to that. So, sorry, I should have said that in the intro, but that is something else that's now been properly implemented on my streams. Is you now have a list of commands that you can use, chat if, as well if you want to have fun with those. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's see. But yes, I am very happy with that, Silesia. It feels like a tiefling name, but also like with a little bit of elegance to it. But yes, I'm very happy with her. Silesia. And now, on to part two. You need to guard him. Now, you get to customize this character however you want. And I'm curious because in the early access they didn't say you need a guardian they said who do you dream of at night and they were more less in armor and more in a robe so i would just make a hot character but and with this like you need a guardian i'm like okay i'm still gonna make them hot but I want to make them with a, a little bit more respectability. Okay, 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 okay. I'm still gonna make them hot, don't you worry. But um, <laughs> please 
uh, forgive me, I'm just gonna make, um, uh, excuse me, while I just make, um, Alucard from Castlevania. He's a Dampier, so I'm gonna make him a high elf. elf. Don't judge me. Remarkable. True. Follow your instincts. Remarkable. There Good go. luck. Softer features. Yeah, there we go. All of them look brooding. They have potential for brooding. He's got those softer, like, a la carte features, though. Doesn't have the options for a chest scar, but that's fine. Skin tone. Ah. Uh, fair, but I think, uh, because a la carte also has, like, the long golden hair, so I think even though there is an option for a pallid tone, he looks a little bit too pink, like, purple in the cheeks, so I'm going to give him a warmer tone. Uh, that looks good. Barney art. To my knowledge, Alucard doesn't have tattoos. Or piercings for that matter. Okay, he's got those beautiful golden eyes. Yes. Yes! Okay. I think that's... Yeah, that feels accurate. That feels accurate. Makeup. I'm giving given a little bit just and you can like soften the intensity of it as well so it's just a shadow because I want he has those kind of deep set brooding eyes yes there we go dwarf is an option Varric like honestly you can kind of make whoever you want like within the options that you have for character customization so you could probably make something fairly close to Varric from Dragon Age it has been an hour now. Don't judge me, guys. I'm Because I'm also narrating all of this as well, and I'm talking you through it. We're experiencing this together. All right, hair, long, blonde, pretty. Where is it? Because there was one that I liked before that was like a half hairstyle. Where is it? There we go. It's got to have a little bit of brooding after all. Yes. Yes! Okay. And highlights, he's kind of got some lighter bits to his hair as well. There we go. There we go. Honestly, there's a lot of good hairstyles for him. There's like straight up Legolas from Lord of the Rings if I wanted to. <laughs> or slightly more like curly and frizzy. That is Claudia from Interview with a Vampire. But I kind of like that one a little bit more for him. But honestly, you can't go wrong with this game. They're all so, so good. I quite like that. And no facial hair. Alrighty, guys. So I'm very happy with that. And he also has that guardian, like, like, holding himself like that. Very proud, very regal, very elegant. So, I'm very happy with that. Follow your instincts. Okay, I just wanted to check up the afraid. right voice. That voice is going to be very distracting, though. Um, Alright, yes, I'm happy with that. Okay. Let us venture forth. Also, the cutscenes in this game are chef's kiss perfection. Ah! The Nautilus looks so good! You 
not the only one, Doc Artemis, I promise you. Everything's fine, guys! Everything's good and great and fine! We're level one, remember that? And the dragons just look so fucking cool, don't they? Well, oh, this game! And we're in the hells because of course we are! <laughs> this day just went from great to... Oh god, no. Mm-hmm. And that's the intro! And yes, I think that little snippet with the hells, that's new. Hi, sweetie. Nap time's over. Okay. I'm just gonna up the volume just a little bit. My head. Just because it's a little soft for me. And then during dialogue and stuff, I don't talk over it anyway. On my way. Is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Investigation. Some dialogue options require a skill check. A dice roll that you must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skills add a bonus to this roll. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Also, I was very pleased to see that uh, the subtitles are just above the lower bar on my um, stream overlay. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can see, still see it clearly. Not going to be touching that. We might implode. Someone else got out. Not everyone made it out alive. Okay. I'm also going to save quickly. Mm. 
I'm just making a note of it for future reference. Just in case. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Homie cast dimension door like four times, like all hacks. The schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Okay. Just going to toggle a little bit with this. Just want to see if there's anything else I can read. Save early, save often. I'm genuinely going to try my best to not get hung up if like I fail a roll and then I just load a pre previous save and then try again. I'm trying to just roll with the punches and with my decisions but when it comes to some in character stuff or like roleplay stuff I might be shitty and then like load a previous save just so I can try again. Oh thank you for the stretch and hydrate Ch check. Thank you, Sam. It is perfectly valid. Oh, our girl is so good. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. Milo, thank you so much for the follow. Exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. Also. I will be doing all the voice acting for my character that isn't like spoken as voice dialogue by the character. These lines I will be speaking aloud in in my character's voice or how I imagine her to sound. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Ooh. I've always gone with destroying the brain, but I'm curious what happens if we don't. And yeah, I'm gonna kill it. We've been abducted by illithids. I'm not fucking around. I'm going to destroy it. I'm so sorry, you deserved better fate than that. So you're not afraid to get your hands dirty? No, I'm a ranger, and I've got those extra sharp tiefling claws. have to use them for something. Anything else around here that's useful? Ooh. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Also, let me just check my inventory just in case. Anything important? Nope. Just so I've got my 
healing potions in hand. Also, um, I noticed this. This was not in early access, but this makes me very excited. And so I think we can craft our own healing potions, which is going to be so good. So I'm going to be looking for resources wherever we go in order to just keep crafting potions. Oh my god, this game! Hi! Please don't kill me. Myself! Abomination! This is your end! Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head! What is this? Skvar, you are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mindfully of parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. We are turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Yes. All right. Combat time. Get ready to fight. Combat appears in rounds and each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses around you during combat so you have time to plan your actions. Okay. So, I'm up first. Protection from evil and good on myself. And that's for me so I'm going to bonus action. Try and get some high... Actually, see if there's anything useful on you. Another healing potion, very good, and I'm going to try and get some high ground. End of turn. Okay, good, good. Ooh. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that was uh, that wasn't in early access. I'm probably going to be saying that a lot. Um, astral knowledge, gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. Ooh, well that sounds promising. But no, I'm going to focus on uh, some lovely hand-to-hand -hand combat. Giselle, can you take care of this one for me? Yes! And start to move, close the distance with that one. Okay, perfect. Yes! And Let's keep my, my distance. Way. Some allies can join you on your adventure. You can control them the same way that you do your own character. Click on a, click on a companion's portrait to take control of them. Um, I think she's, uh, Lazel is fine for now. You equip items from your inventory by double clicking them or dragging them into the equipment slot. And done that. Uh, map of your surroundings. You can visit, uh, view quest locations, place custom markers. So report, uh, teleport to waypoints you've discovered by selecting them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cause this layout has changed. Like it it's I've played so much early access that it kind of cemented itself into my brain a fair bit. So I'm trying my best to just adapt as best I can. Okay. But we need to start looting some of these dead bodies where we can. Because we need as many resources as we can find. 
Okay, that leads up. What's around here? Also, normally I'm not, like, when I'm streaming a game, I usually more, like, focus on, like, going straight to plot points. But with a game like this, you want to be as thorough as you can with looking into every little nook and cranny. Because you have no idea what you'll be able to find that could, like, be a huge boon to you later on. Oh, Tommy, it's all good. Honestly, I spent an hour on character creation, so it's all good. I feel bad for robbing the dead people, but you know what? This is survival mode. Too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Sorry, I missed that bit of dialogue. Um, I forgot to read it aloud. I'm so used to playing this game solo. Uh, sorry, I couldn't. I can't find a way to get the slatch open, but I'll look around as best I can. Because if she's alive and still kicking, then I'm not going to bother you. Ooh. Gold key. Let's check if there's anything else that's useful. How many hosts of these gay infected? And I will just say, all of the interior design of this Nautilus, like all of these pods, it looks so cool. So creepy and so cool. Like, a full HR Gargar inspiration, and I love it. And yes, she did mention um, next to the pod there was something, but. I've, again, I've played a lot of the early access, so I know exactly where to go to find what I need. Okay, yes, yes, yes. The console appears dormant. There's a socket in the console, shaped like the rune you found. Insert it. The console hums to life. Take a closer look at the powered-up console, just to double-check. Ooh, yes! The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. You feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Mm -hmm. I will will the pods to open. your command and yield to it a shiver runs across your mind you feel sated
thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right then, let's get going. I'm Celestia. Shadowheart. One moment. I'm not going to pry. Come on, time to go. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. The race was worth it. I managed to get home in time to watch the stream. The schedule is so different here in Brazil, but everything worked out. It's a pleasure to see your lives. I really admire your work, Stephanie. Thank you so, so much. That's so incredibly kind of you. And literally, we spent the first hour on character creation, so we're still in like the early stages of the game. So it's all good. Thank you so much for joining us. And we found that shiny key. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a good Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. Brain in a jar. Can that be sold, maybe? A humanoid brain alive and in perfect condition, suspended in cere cerebrospinal fluid. We have a slot for underwear. What is this game? I love this. I love this so much. Okay, I'm just gonna save again. to survive this as best we can. Let's try and clear a path then. Okay, what's more important? Okay, I've still got protection from good and evil on me. Okay, let's pick you off first. Leave the bigger enemies for Lazel to take care of and Shadowheart because they can take a lot more damage than I can. Okay, and that's it for me. Devils or Illithids? I don't know which to choose. Make way. Okay, can I get... Yes, I can get to you. Oh, damn it. Uh, but I can do a formal strike. Nice! There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Let's try Sacred Flame. Oh, is it better to hit? Yes. I can hit you at a distance. Oh, damn it, they saved. That's fine. And I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on Lazelle because she takes quite a few hits. 
and that's my turn. And yes, Shadowheart is a cleric and she's great. Actually, I have... Actually, what are my proficiencies for... It's a finesse weapon. I don't think I've got proficiencies for finesse weapons. Let me just check. Uh... No, I am proficient in scimitars. Okay, I just needed to check that. Uh, wait, scimitars. Okay, they do the same amount of damage. Good to know. Okay, I can try and flourish it. Just to do any kind of damage with whatever I've got. Okay, so... Yes, and we're flanking, so... Yes! Taking position. Concentrate. On I go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Damn it. Okay, my turn. And I'm going to dash, actually. Try and get as far ahead as I can. One day, I'll catch a break. That. And take that. And those two are fighting, so I'm not going to get too close. No time to waste. And the music is fantastic too. Like, there are so many reasons why I've been so excited for this game. Light on my feet. Make way. knock out as many of you as I can so I can clear a path for me. Need to find a way forward. Miss. Okay, come on, come on. Taking come on, position. Come on. Damn it. Uh. Okay. Don't have action surge yet, so that's okay. Heading there. Yes! Finally, Sacred Flame worked. Damn it. Level one. Should have disengaged. That's okay. Almost there. Come on. 
Commander, you've made it in time. Hi. Hi. Oh, the dragons look so good. How gorgeous is this game? played this game for so long. It's so good. Also, shout out to my new graphics card. I'm just Goblins. Trixie goblins. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. I'll check myself for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Alrighty. Don't waste a step. I know, like, time is not on my side and all that, but I need to explore every nook and cranny and find supplies. <laughs> Shadowheart! I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to try and wake her. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. 
It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Okay. Time to quickly swap some inventory around because I've got a good ton of healing potions and uh, Shadowheart, you need to carry some shit for me. Every item has a context menu where you may use them, Let's tag them as wares, or sell them to another party member. Okay, I'm going to give you two healing potions because... Also, you're a lot physically stronger than I, so I need you to carry some shit for me until we find someone I can sell this stuff to. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to hold on to some things for now. Okay, everything's good. Scroll over the fire. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And I'm going to save again. Just as a backup. She's less of a pack mule and more... She's just... She knows how injured I am. Highlight nearby items make it easier to find Press left alt to highlight the items. Oh, that's useful. Oh, that's very useful. And it says when it's empty. Oh, but that will fit in my pack. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm happy. Suspension of merc. Because this is all new to me, so I'm very excited about this. Um, you see all the inventories of all party members in the party view. Party. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Left the torch set up all items. Okay. I'm probably going to forget all about this. Okay. I'm not going to touch any crafting stuff yet until we get some more supplies. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Camp supplies, be sure to collect food and drinks. You will need them to restore your health and resources when taking a long rest. And yes, there are books to find. And yes, I will read them. And we all row with the spray upon our necks, and we all row with the spray upon our backs, and we all row with the sea beneath our feet, and the bitch queen stays the storm. Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we ask to sail your skirt if you allow wave mother wave mother sink us if you will wave mother wave mother our skulls are yours with brine and sand to fill souls away and anchors still the wind won't move without the bitch queen's will we'll glad wait gladly years and days till the bitch queen brings the waves hey ho she told us so hey ho she told us so fish okay thank that's good we actually have like a place where all of our camp supplies goes in our inventory because before it would fill up like slots in our inventory and it would just get so lost read books and notes you've picked up in your inventory read Sire, I love you. There I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it until we're old and grey. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do with the re without the rest. Don't be late, love Anna. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anything of use? And yes, that poem is about Umberly. Waypoints, you've discovered a waypoint. You'll be able to teleport to this location by selecting it in your map. Fast travel! Can't get that open. 
open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Oops. So looked at. And you know, I'm I'm so sentimental. I'm gonna take that book because we read it, but I just left it there. So I am gonna pick it up, just in case I can either give it to a collector, maybe sell it, or just keep all the books. A violin, a violin, a cedar, and world walnut. The eggs are a little scuffed. I'm not proficient in musical instruments, but I might be able to sell that. More of those wretched things. Uh, I don't think it's like devour devourers. They're creepy. They're cool, but they are very creepy. Okay. It's possible to drag and drop things like barrels and crates. I believe so. And you can also push things as well. Um, but we need to be stealthy at the need moment. To keep Try and get the drop on those intellect of ours. Because someone has firebolt. Yes! Has <laughs> Steph married a star in yet? Not yet. Give me time. Good. Okay, good, good, good. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. All right, leveled up. Hell yes. And we'll do a quick short rest, I think. Resting menu, quick short rest. Oh, that helped. Go and let's level up, shall we? Ranger level two. Yes. Okay. Gain two level one spell slots, which are restored in long rest. Okay. What spells? Um, cure wounds. Oh no, hunter's mark first. Absolute staple if you're doing an archer um, ranger. And Full magical berries. Good berry is also useful, I think. A worn transmutation spell. Don't forget to save regularly, Steph. The order save system is not great. Yes, I have heard that. That's something that is getting patched, but I'm just trying to save um, like every 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. Alrighty. Um, I 
Let's go with Cure Wounds because I can take Goodberry, but I'll forget to cast it and distribute it to my party members before a fight. And so let's go with Cure Wounds and Hunter's Mark. Good staple ranger choices. And fighting style. Archery. Absolutely. Uh, animal friendship could also be good. Um, I might pick that as the option for the next, uh, when we level up next time, when we get the option of more spells. Um, just because I wanted like two more uh, ones that are better suited for combat, just in case. And yes, archery again, plus two to range weapon attacks. Yes, 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 yes. All right, and Shadowheart. No time to dally. I'm just going to rearrange some of your stuff. Just so that uh, it's more aligned with how I arranged your stuff when I was playing early access. So I had your I had cantrips on top. Cantrip. And then I had your class abilities and then spells like that, I believe. go let's get on with it uh, actually uh, so you're a cleric can I yes I can rearrange your spells I think I can't repick your cantrips though I think but I can pick which ones to prepare which is good and all of them uh, those are good that's healing word inflict wounds shield of faith and guiding bolt yep good staples and we get to level you up Nice. Turn on dead. I don't think we get any extra things. Uh, oh, actually, could, do we have more spells that we can prepare? Um, yeah, you're the cleric. You're going to have all of the healing spells. <laughs> so let's go with that, shall we? Wait, now you know, what you really need to do is uh, next level up, learn how to play instruments. It's beyond useless when you're not a bard, but at least you can flex on all the other party members. You can in fact play an instrument whilst they can't. Let's move. Moving ahead. Yes, let's just serenade the uh, mind flayers to death. Quick look around if this is useful. Just leads into some kind of murky depths. Oops. Oops. You can craft your own potions, poisons, and elixirs using alchemy. Gather ingredients to distill into extracts and experiment to brew wondrous solutions. Let's have a quick, quick glance at that. Recipe unlock potion of mind reading. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. It just automatically goes into the inventory and grabs what it needs. Okay, that's good. That's actually really good. Like, a nice... It's really good that we can, like, make stuff with alchemy and it's not too complicated. Good, good, good. I appreciate that. I'll take that. I think I have a lot. Bet I can crack that open. Yes, I've got some thieves tools. And I have very dexterous hands. 
Yes. Okay. Now, this is something uh, that I found, um, that many people found uh, during early access. I, it should still be here. I don't know why they would remove it. But if you want a little sneaky something to help you out, go down here. So you come up that side out of the crash mine flare ship. Jump down. you in a second and you see this rock here deep grooves in the mud around that rock okay I'm not strong enough shadow heart is I think oh come on it's is it too heavy shit Yes, okay. Moved Never it. A dull moment. And there's a lovely little ornate chest hidden under here. From the Harpers. With a ruby, some gold, a po and two potions of speed. And it might be a, a random roll for what's actually in it, but it does have uh, some very useful things. Including this map. This stained ragged map has passed through countless hands. A little heart marks an area called Moonrise Towers with a small inky crescent sketched in a nearby forest. Below the crescent is a more recent scroll of cash. A tattered collection of reports held together with a moon and harp seal. There is a frequent mention of sacrilegious activity among a local Salunite sect. So yes. Just a little something for all of you guys who are planning on picking this up. Go down here and then there's usually some uh, very nice shinies in there that could be sold for a pretty price. Give you a bit of extra gold. I'm just going to save. Quickly. Do I hear a cry of distress, by chance? Uh, good afternoon, Seems sir. Like a good moment to talk. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? Just a dumb bore. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. Oh, put it away. We don't need a fight. Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? Put the knife away and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. I might have done the same were the roles reversed. Uh -huh. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. You can already tell. This motherfucker is going to be a huge problem. <clears throat> uh, 
I am Silesia. You might have heard of me. I'm from Baldur's Gate as well. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. And this was the start of a beautiful relationship. <laughs> and time to level you up, Astarian. There we go. Next level we get to choose a subclass. Anything I've missed? No, I've been quite thorough. There. A mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. I'm gonna save quickly. Because I'm a little nervous. Hey, Sam. My lone man says you've been awful quiet since the Starian showed up. You doing okay? You approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion. This isn't right. I'll step away. You can't move. Can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve. To die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to... love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. I'm going to try and break free of that hold. The monster lies exhausted. Defeated, its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. No, I'm gonna kill this thing myself. Yes. Good, good, good. Gake, death is too kind of fate. Because the subtitles didn't match what she actually said. I think she said that in Infernal. That's really cool if that's the case. Okay. No, because I know what happens if you get a little too close and personal with the mind flayer. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Yes, yes. Oh, Samuel, you're gonna get like carpal tunnel if you try and clip every single moment with him. Like, What's going it's on okay. With that room? Looks unstable somehow. Let's put my hand in it and see what happens. The sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. What could go wrong? I'm gonna touch it. I know, 
magic shit. A hand? Anyone? Can I just high five it? Who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Not one. Give it another shot. Uh, thanks for the guidance, Shadowheart. Another reason to keep Shadowheart in your party is that she can give you guidance for uh, skill checks like this. Yes, there we go. That's it. Go on. Keep pulling. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. At introductions? At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. I was, yes. Then I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Okay, but Gale is pretty nice to look at though. All of our party members are very hot. Like, it's just essentially like, just pick your type, pretty much. <laughs> you know, as a barbarian, you would never have to struggle about strength checks, just saying. I know. Go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? <laughs> You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Uh, sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have a feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Welcome to the party, Gail. Alrighty. Subclass. Oh, we could pick from any of them. Shit. Okay. Because in early access you had just had abjuration and evocation. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um. Hmm. <sighs> Abjuration spells some rewards, banish enemies, and nullify magic suitable for those who wish to defend themselves and others. Necromancy is always fun. Conjuration. Compelled by shape and motion, your favorite arcane style involves summoning creatures and objects whilst displacing them in space. I'm trying to pick options that aren't like super complicated for more of a gameplay standpoint. So I'm thinking probably I'll go with evocation, to be honest. 
Like, I would, if I was playing a wizard, I would go with, like, a divination for me, because I like the roleplay mechanic of, like, a divination wizard. But when it's, like, a, a video game like this, I'm trying to pick ones that fit, like, more gameplay style. Necromancy is fun, but it's pretty situational. Yeah, and I'm trying to pick ones that it's, like, just general, overall good balance for the party. Just to remember, morally speaking, enchantment is worse than necromancy. <laughs> Causes transmutation. And delusion. I'm gonna go with evocation. And let's pick those spells. Uh, chromatic orb. Versatile. Very, very useful. Um, ice knife. Touch the city's laughter. Which is just a treat. Shield is useful. I'm pretty cautious, so I don't think we'll need Feather Fall for a while. Let's go with uh, Chromatic Orb and Magic Missile, I think. Because, yeah, Chromatic Orb is super versatile. You can pick from a ton of different damage types with that. Actually, let's go with Color Spray, because I need something that's like for uh, closer uh, proximity fights. So, or if someone gets too up close and personal. Yeah, let's go with that and then prepare spells. Thunder Wave. So, Mage Armor, absolutely. Uh, Witch Bolt, Chromatic Orb, Thunder Wave, and Color Spray. Yep, I'm good with that. Oh, thanks for the stretch check. Ah. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. And let's Someone just up. rearrange everyone's capabilities just the way that I prefer them. Okay, action dash and disengage. Way to the nearest library. Okay. And. And before we go any further, Mage Armor. Let's go. Everything, despite everything. And. Now I can cast Find Familiar. I couldn't do it on the ship before. And we have a lot of options for different familiars. But I want to go with a raven. I love him. If not over, then through. And I'm gonna call him Lucius. <laughs> After our very good butler over at the uh, the Discord. Uh, just because we've got Gale join us, I'm just going to save quickly. I could call with Matthew, that'd be a really cute little reference. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Hmm. I 
Let's go with persuasion. That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. Thank you for the guidance, Shadowheart. Yes. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Oh, they left so much of their stuff behind. Uh, but let me just give some stuff to the others. I'm going to give uh, a star in the uh, disarm traps and some lockpicking tools. Also, um, I think a star only has one dagger, so I'm going to give that to you. I'm also going to give a uh, torch to Gale because he's human and doesn't have dark vision like I do. And most of the rest of the party for that matter. And I'll give poison to Starry as well. Yep, that's the same stats as what I've currently got. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, uh, Gale. You shall find me. Cool, cool, you're fine Trust with that. Now. Sorry, you need double daggers because then you can do an offhand attack. Automatically use your bonus action to make an offhand attack while using two weapons unless you toggle this option. Okay, cool, cool. Good, that's just an automatic thing. Alright, that looks good to me. Still alive for that progress. <sighs> okay. I, I'm a little bit frustrated that this let this was spoiled for me, but at the same time, it's so fucking funny. Well, so you know how you have underwear in your invent, like an, a slot for underwear in your inventory. Astarians says, embroidered into the cloth. If you're reading this, you managed to bed or behead me. Either way, you got lucky. <laughs> the love of my life, ladies and gentlemen, and others in between. My faith protects me. And Shadow Hearts says, if pants could brood. Oh my good gods. And they're all they all are different. All the underwear is different for all the characters. Oh my god. I'm sure. And she crackles around these. Gail wouldn't. Surely he didn't enchant this. No time to rest. You can tell that the developers put the put the extra mile into this fucking game and we thank them for it i love this game so much i am just going to give astarian the like crossbow instead of a regular bow just because i he, he's more of a uh, city person so i've always imagined him like wielding a, a crossbow more than a short bow but that that's just me it looks cool with this uh, crossbow as well. Okay, I think. I think that's good for now. Breathe deep and move. I'm just gonna save it again. Cause I'm paranoid. Hand crossbows make sense from my point of view. Everything all right good. out there? I, with Thaumaturgy, I do have uh, advantage on performance checks, so let's give that a try. Yes, it's me! Let me in! Yes. Thaumaturgy and Guidance. Yes! There we go. You sound a bit shaken, Mosh. Hang on while I find the key. You gain a point of inspiration. Use it to try again when you fail a roll. Nice. 
this. And those points of inspiration can be used to re-roll stuff, and it's very useful. up a little bit. Nice. Gotta keep fighting. Mm, that's disadvantage. That's better. And Lucius has his turn, because he's a good burb, and he can blind people, or at least try to. I'll be taking that. Swift as my feet can carry me. No more prayers, only dust and silence. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. So how's your day, Stephanie? My day was fine. Honestly, I was just so excited for tonight's stream to finally get to be able to play this game and see you guys again. Um, I was a little bit nervous that things would maybe go awry because this is my first time streaming with this PC. And I was just a little bit worried, like, oh, is there something I've forgotten? Something I haven't checked or anything like that? But honestly, as far as I can tell, it's been very smooth, like when I've glanced up to see what you guys are watching. Um, so, and I trust that you guys would let me know in chat if there was something that had gone awry or I'd forgotten to do. Um, but also, just audio check. Can you guys hear everything nice and clearly? Can you hear, like, all the other characters clearly? Because I always stop talking whenever anyone else is speaking, because important plot-related stuff. Always room for more. <laughs> yes, glad it's working so smoothly, and yes, it's good, perfectly. Yes, good, good, good. taking all of those resources because it's all very useful stuff what's inside Candles. portrait of fame I don't know why I put that in my inventory but I did I just put that in my inventory can I maybe sell that later Portrait of Fane. Excruciating precise lines bring this portrait's undead subject to life. Despite its empty eye sockets, you can almost swear his gaze follows you judgmentally. Hmm. I wonder if we could maybe sell that to someone later. How's my... Okay. I'm still fairly strong. I'm not as strong as I think Shadowheart is, but still not bad. But no, we wouldn't tell you. We just laugh in the private chat you can't see. There's a private chat. Now that you've said that. <laughs> I have something to ask. No, I do not. One thing I kind of do, um, just so I keep track of what areas I've looked at, is I try to like light the candles. If there's like candles or candelabra, just so that then I know, like, oh, I've already looked through this area, and I don't need to backtrack. Actually, I'm going to split that potion of speed, and I'm going to give one of those to a Starion. Because a rogue with a potion of speed is a deadly thing, and an amazing thing. Um, I think that's good. I'm sorry, I know I save a lot, I'm just paranoid. Especially because this has like just come out and there's been slight issues with loading and saving games. I 
I'm so glad they kept this. Original Sin had this too. I had to stop sealing all the pictures because they weigh me down. Let's be a little stealthy. Oh no wait, they spotted someone. Can't afford to stay idle. Time to fill some graves. Sneaky. Very well. Okay. I wonder if her parents came up with the name Shadowheart or if she started going uh, goodbye after she ran my mortal. <laughs> she is our angsty little cleric and we love her. Time to pack it in for the day, I think. I think once we clear this area, maybe then we'll take a long rest. Look, I always lament my favorite uh, Koto playthrough that is trapped in an unwinnable fight because the saves are 30 seconds before and 6 hours before. Save as often as you want. I will. I absolutely will in that case. Curse of the Vampire. Are we taking that? Let me just have a look. Ooh, just, just a glance. Harken close and beware the vampire. Beware its cold beauty. Beware its charm. Beware its curse. Above all, beware the pale noble, for the vampire cannot bear to be of the common folk. How doth one protect from the beast? Walk not in blackest night, for the vampire loves these nights more than any other. If you must walk, do so by the light of our moon and take care. Carry the blessings and marks of your gods at all times. And rem But remember, your home is a fortress, if protected well. If you hear a knock in the night, be wary. Let no stranger into your home. If it be a friend, look upon them. Do you find them pallid and worn? See you any mark upon their neck? See you any dirt upon their clothes? Unless their need is great, turn away all but the most trusted. And if the beast finds a way into your home, flee. Leave love and family behind. You will not save them if you fight. You will not see them again. But they will see you, pale and smiling, calling them into the night. Astarian, what are your thoughts on this book? Just asking. <laughs> Some rags, I couldn't do without those. Okay, can't see a thing from down here. Gail, do you think maybe you've got something cool for us? Let's see, maybe acid. And fill that whole area with acid. Does this count as adventuring? Oh shit, okay. I can't afford to fail. Fall to me. And Astarian is still very quiet, so I don't think anyone spotted him yet. Can, a can you get anyone with sneak attack? Yes! Okay, good, good. Nice. Easy. 
Okay, there we go. Okay. Come on, come stay high. We've all got the same initiative. Uh, so I'm going to. Okay, I can't quite get in there yet. So Astarian, you're going to go first. Over here. Can you hide? The subtle approach. Oh yeah. What path lies before me? And okay, not within my range. That's okay. Get you. Smark. This is now the Stephanie plays Baldur's Gate Three ASMR stream. We're going to be having a lot more nights like this. I don't think you guys know how many weeks we're going to be playing this game. I imagine this is not going to get like to darkest dungeons level of how many weeks we play this game but i want to get all the way through the story like because i have been dying to play this game for so long and i want to get all the way through the story But then again, I don't think anyone's going to be complaining like at all. Five. Especially when I have that mo those moments of um, uh, playing Silesia. That soft, silken voice. Heart. Oh no, wait. That is. Just... You're not actually doing so great, Shadow Hearts. So I'm actually going to. Just need to rearrange some things. You need to kill wounds, so let's go with that. My wounds are too much to bear. You'll be fine. Shake it off. You're down. Okay. I got you. My health's not doing great either, but that's okay. Good. Color spray. God damn it. A member of your wrenching party reaches zero hit points, they are down to the step between life and death. They'll roll. Yeah, it's death saving throws. So, huh, everything's fine. I just need to get you taken care of. 
Unlocked an action. an action is a result of another ability feature or condition. It will remain inside of your hotbar until those conditions expire. Oh yes, um, because then I can recast uh, Reapply Hunter's Mark. I'm going to apply that on you. One foe left. Nice. And that was more than half her health, which is brilliant. Okay. Wait, wait. Characters can perma die in this game? That wasn't part of the deal? Yeah. It's Dungeons and Dragons. Characters can, like, die, die. I got you. Your replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest to restore hit points and other resources. Will do. Uh, once we've checked everyone for loot, uh, I think this will be a good place for us to rest. Best be on my way. And yes, yes, yes. Might be useful. I need to remember that because I'm not sure if this was a thing in early access. Either way, it is very useful. And I think we've already got a copy of the unclaimed. Yes, yes we do. Ooh. I'll equip those. And tasteful boots. I want some proper weather boots. Oh, this is like underclothed stuff, and then there's the actual armor. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Can we get special underclothes then? Just wondering. Just curious. No reason. Yeah, honestly, like, just being able to search uh, quickly mm, for stuff. Oh. Pull the lever. What was that? We'll look at what that is after we take our long rest. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Caribbean Tipler, Meta, Drowning, Bane, Arkansas, Altmer, Inter Internal Rot, Deborah, Strats. Okay, so it's just like the obituaries of the people who used to use this place. Okay. Okay. But I know we're surrounded by dead bodies and it's a little icky, but let's take a long rest, guys. Actually, I'm just going to save before we take a long rest, just in case of bugs. Galactic Emperor Batman, welcome back! So, let's take a long rest, shall we? At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, uh, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Everyone has their own special spot now! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god, and they... Sorry, I need to take a moment. Because... You guys have no idea how many... I, I, I put over 100 hours into early access, and before, you know, it was fine, it was cool. But now they ha each have their own separate spot. And that's really cool! Oh, like just like just that little customized that little customized space around them. Yes, yes, I'll have my long rest in a fucking second. Let me enjoy this for a second game. Okay, but Gail wants to talk to us, so let's go talk to Gail. Oh, 
I wonder then if we can get more like leisurely clothes later on. Like, oh my god, please. Go to hell. And a good evening to you too. Ha! <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. What's on your mind, Gail? Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. I'm not too worried. We'll find someone who can help us. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. All right. Let's go have a chat with the Starion. Because I know that's who you all wanted me to talk to. Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Also, yes, the reason that they look so busted up, like Silesia as well, is because, like, their HP is so low when we did the long rest. So we look fully busted up. <laughs> By the time we get to the, the night. Uh, the right herbs can make a soothing tea if you can't settle in. Uh, no, tea isn't really my drink. I'll be awake a while anyway. I need some time to think things through to process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Thank you. I'll sleep better for that. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. <sighs> Shut up, guys. Shut up, I could feel you judging me. Hey. Sorry, her alpha just caught me off guard. It looks amazing. Hey, Shadowheart. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? Uh, we were just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. You don't trust Gail? He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Let's not abandon all caution. This is unfamiliar territory. Caution is a luxury we don't have. Let's rest and wake up at first light. All right, everyone. Oh, also, I forgot to mention. Um, if you have your uh, Larian, um. Uh, account linked with your Twitch um, and you know how uh, you can there's Twitch drops if you like watch a stream with a certain that's streaming a certain category a certain game uh, for a period of time then you get like special drops and stuff like that there's one for Baldur's Gate 3 um, it's happening over a period of time so we if you didn't activate it tonight don't worry you can do it for the next stream um, but you can get like special uh, outfits uh, there's like a special outfit that's like exclusive for the Twitch drop um, that you can get, so... Yes, so Hayden's been doing it. If you search, like, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 Twitch drop, then it should give you instructions on how to do it. Well, let's rest up. Full rest. Calm night is a mercy, yet your eyes refuse to stay closed. Every time they flicker shut, the tadpole seems to twitch behind them. 
Dragons, Gith, and the Hells themselves have come after you. Yet it is this creature that lingers in your skull. Okay, this is new. Focus, finding a cure is all that matters. You have to learn to control the tadpole. He said so it can grant you powers. Baldarian intelligence. This is because I picked the noble background, I think. Force the tadpole out of your mind. Think of home instead. The tadpole influences you. Perhaps you might influence it in return. I'm curious. As a ranger, I've got fairly high wisdom. I want to see if maybe, like... I can maybe try and influence it in return. I'm curious. Oh, we have our first Pick My Voice of the evening. Now that you have returned, Steph, I feel the fitting we celebrate this occasion with a Pick My Voice. And since this game is a Dungeons & Dragons setting, I'm picking Cytaral the Eternal. Well... Mm, it feels so good to stretch these scales again. I do hope that you've all been behaving yourselves and not laying hands upon my horde. And look at that. What a stroke of good fortune. You focus on that spot of pain from when it slipped behind your eye to where it now lurks. You cannot prod it, but you can make it clear that you are watching. What is there to fear when it is the one stuck inside you? It is a minor victory, but enough to soothe you to sleep. Mm, curious. That such a small thing has so much power. <sighs> All right. Shall this little band of adventurers continue on? Emperade, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you're welcome at the Lura's Respite anytime. All right, shall we continue on then? This fun little adventure we're on. And I believe that was our first Nat 20. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be many more of those in the future. This place wasn't built for the living. Just keep looking and looking and looking. Every okay. little corner for any hint of treasure. My, my, this place seems to be quite well guarded. Ooh. I'll be taking that. Strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. And that didn't set off the trap, so... Lovely. As a dragon, I have carefully. no use for such... Trap. Trinkets, but is it still of value? <laughs> the real Nevian, I'm pleased that you enjoy my voice so much. I take it that you are familiar with my ballad. Where did you go? There's a trap. It looks like a trap there. Sorry, would you be able to assist perchance? Go. 
The skull is useful, perhaps. Mm, we might go back and have another look. Shall we? Be careful. There are traps about. Let's maybe wander over and see if we can one day I'll catch your great skulls again. Be wary. This place is trapped. Yes, why not? What Spoil now? ourselves with some new skulls. The dice are very shiny, are they not? Hmm. Oh, but I can tell that these little wanderers, as long as they steer clear of my hoard of treasures, have a promising future. Very quick handed. <sighs> Thank you for the stretch and hydrate check. Track trap there, be cautious. I hope that's all of them, the chance. I wonder if you can customize the dice. Perhaps. Perhaps later on. Ooh, let's see if we can try and disarm it. Actually, mm, let's just take care of this quickly. door quickly. Locked. Wonder what's past this. So Sotaro, how's the horde? Any new trinkets? Well my little songbird is quite good at finding new pretty things to bring back to me. Ah, oh, so that's where that leads. Hmm. There's nothing quite like a crypt with a seaside view, is there not? <laughs> forgot. Just in case. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. The path lies before me. <laughs> but while I am enjoying delving through this not be dingy cursed. little tomb and picking up these lovely shiny treasures, I must confess I must depart for now. And with that, thank you so much for the p first pick my voice of the evening, Galactic Emperor Batman, and a very good, nice voice indeed. I do love Saitaro's voice so much. 
Uh, it's actually been... On a, honestly, sending up the Pick My Voice redeems has probably been the best thing I've uh, done as a voice actor because it just lets me do dip my toes into a little bit of practice every time I go live or whenever one of uh, my lovelies uh, redeems it, just so I can flex that muscle just a little bit, just kind of try and slip into that voice easily. And, you know, you all seem to enjoy it, don't you? Here. Oh, take care, Virju. Thank you so much for joining us. Early work tomorrow. Is your stream schedule the same, or will you stream more often now uh, since it's Baldur's Gate 3? Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to stream more than I already am, so Fridays and Sundays. So at the moment, even though I would love to stream more of this game, like, across the week, at the moment it's just going to be Baldur's Gate 3 on Fridays, and we're still continuing, continuing uh, the Cult of the Lamb DLC on Sundays. Oh, just to clarify, um, just while I'm here, uh, because I don't think I articulated it quite right in my announcement. The next chapter... Chained up book in a long abandoned temple. Ooh, temptation, no friend. We meet again. Gail, I, I do really like you. You're great. Um, but just for clarification, the next chap... The next ASMR tale that's coming out tomorrow night, it's the next chapter in, um, Embraced by Emerald Flames. But because, like, you, my, you are my lovelies and you're joining here, me here tonight, it's focusing on Elenia. So it takes place right after where the previous uh, chapter left off, but it's just going to be Elenia. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Uh, I think I do have some capabilities in Arcana. Shadowheart, can you help me? Come on, come on. Yes! Okay, I got that kind of suspected. Okay, cool. So I did make it somewhat clear. Oh, that looks so good now. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. It looks so good. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Okay, I'm not the best at religion, so... Please. Yes! Not 20, gods. maybe. These are the names of gods, once lost but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. I'll be taking that with me. I got a roll of Raven Feeblement. Smell nice. Oh, nice, nice. Scribes. But no sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Uh, let me just double check something. Uh, oh, starting to fill my inventory just a little bit. Oh, actually... I'm gonna equip. Oh no, wait, that's quite... quite a bit bigger than I expected. Let's stick with the scimitar as a ranger. Because the longsword is quite a hefty weapon. I just want to check Don't something quickly. Touch me. I, I, I just need to check something quickly. Does it say what your background is? 
Oh, we'll be alchemy. Because when he... Because when we got inspiration earlier... Because, uh, points of inspiration, that if you do something that kind of aligns with your character's, um, uh, background. So, because Celeste is, uh, sorry, um... Silesia is a, a noble, so if I do things that are aligned with like aspects of nobility, or like I succeed in like a knowledge Jervil. spell. This must be ancient. No one worships the final scribe anymore. Which can learn me spells by studying certain spell scrolls instead of using them. That's true, actually. So in that case, I'm gonna give the scroll very complete to Gale, because then hopefully you can learn that. And also then he can also learn any hands. Yes. Yeah, honestly, we can afford that. And that is also quite useful. Oh no, wait, your spells, uh, current spell Looking level ahead. is too low. That's okay. These boots have seen everything. Wants to give alt reminders every now and then. Actually, yes, because it's a new mechanic I'm still getting used to, and it's. Uh, I need to, like, purposefully, like, get my hand on that particular key. It's not something that I just remember to kind of idly press. So, yeah, just a, li a little nudge if you notice me just, like, doing a quick loot search. Let's see. Okay, I'm encumbered, so. Ah, uh, Shadowheart, you're gonna have to carry some shit for me, please. Mostly it's gonna be armor. And also, there's this fun option where you can you can have the helmet visible if you've got like a, um, a headpiece or something that you want your character to be seen wearing all the time. Um, you can have it just hide during dialogue bits, or you can just hide it completely, which is, you know, it's, it's the little things. It's the little things that just make this so much more amazing. Ah, I love this game. Okay, but that's a bit better. Inscription is in a language unknown to you. Okay. Uh, what were you saying about uh, points of inspiration, character backgrounds? Yes, 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 yes. Um, so with my character, she's got the background of being a noble. So if she uh, succeeded in a skill check for something that's like tied to her background with nobility so probably something like if she's able to persuade someone to do something for her in like uh she ordered a servant or a fellow noble to grant her a favor or something like that she, then she would get a point of inspiration um same way that shadowheart has the acolyte background and gale has the sage background but astarian in early access, he used to also have the noble background. I think he's been changed to charlatan, which makes sense. <laughs> Little shit. That might be worth a look. Save. Reasons. Question, is what you're doing archaeology or grave robbing? Shh. It's Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> can be to our advantage. Okay, Astarian, you're going to stay back here and you are going to actually equip crossbow. Actually, no, because they're undead, so they wouldn't get benefits from that. 
Don't suppose can you Okay, you need to hide first. Let's have a little fun. Victory is assured. Step by step. Anyone closer? Not yet. Actually. There you go. Listen, I'm going to be making that face a lot whenever a Starian says anything or breathes or looks in my general direction. And I don't need you to judge me for it. Good. Let's spill some blood. Sneak attack. Yes. I want you to stay back and hide. Oh no, wait. Twenty section hide. Good. A bit more out in the open because you're strong. Here. No, I need to get down for that. Okay. Never mind. Actually, I'm going to dash to get in position. Just got one more. We're actually doing a lot better in this fight than we did the previous one. Can't slow down. Where are they? Good, it's 
silence is broken. Shall we cut and run? Quickly. Yes, okay. Where are they? There they are. Sneak attack. Yes! They to surrender their valuables, even after death. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect from dusty old baubles. Can't slow down. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll just say we did a short rest here. <sighs> All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Wizards, clerics, villagers, and trolls. Yes, 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 preparing spells and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Save. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Ooh, shiny amulet. Shiny, shiny. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Oh, good. Yes. So he has spoken. And so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? An arbiter of certain matters. But that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? Could say the tiefling one. Mm. In my experience, that depends on what the mortal looks like. A life and how it is lived are different equations. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met. And I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. So, no boss fight? Well, we're taking those, though. And that amulet that I picked up from that chest in this area allows me to speak with dead. So, yes, please. Uh, scroll of Bone Chill. That actually could be quite useful for Gale as well. Because he needs, uh, he needs to learn a couple of spells where it's, um, uh, like, close proximity stuff just in case he gets surprised. Welcome back. Now let's get out of here.
I love the dyslexic spell list. That's really good, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they do have preset names for your familiars, and the raven's name is Quoth. Oh, that's great. I I'm still going to call him Lucius, but oh, that's so cute. So do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are much less hassle. I mean, you do you, Shadowheart. Curious what made, um, Starion bring that up. Just wondering. <clears throat> Zoru was right. Yellow was a toad, twice hey. as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. I'll just use a little white lie. It's not exactly a lie. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here, leave it to me. I'm... Can I use an inspiration point? Yeah, I've got four inspiration points. I'm gonna try and roll that again. There we go, that's more like it. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. <laughs> okay, I'll get you down. Observe and listen. You'll hear Get goblins before you see them. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. All right, we journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Wait at my camp. 
We can speak there. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. So when we get to this uh, settlement um, that's further down the road, then, not settlement, it's a, uh, a camp, um, then we can go to, because uh, I think we can just jump back to our camp uh, using fast travel and then you can swap out party members that way. Because you'll need some party members for like certain like quest related stuff. Um, if like say, like uh, Lazelle, she wants to speak to someone called Zoro, then you can just nip back to the camp, swap out uh, a party member, and bring her in. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Save. That sounds like a prompt to save. Lazel is so badass and I love her. Like, she's Githyanki, so, like, it's, uh, she's definitely much, like, pricklier and much more, like, direct and upfront and, um, uh, she doesn't have, uh, much of a sense of humor, <laughs> if any. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Yay. By the nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> Combat time. Damnable roach. <gasps> well, provoke the blade ah! and suffer its sting. Hi, Will. hide there that's okay swiftly now and let's try oh, 
fire damage on both of those. Yeah. Guiding bolt on you. You are very, very tanky. And I tried to eat the goblin. Um, it did take a little tumble, but it didn't knock all the way off the way I hoped. But that's okay. Too much to bear. Ow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Temporary hit points. Nice. Uh, hit points aren't doing great, so I'm going to heal those. Disadvantage. Oh, because I'm poisoned. Okay. Got for me. Gail can take uh, those two out. One more hit. Can you? It's outside of your normal range. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, okay, so take care of these guys. Go. Go one. Stay focused. Damn it. I could use a bit of healing though, Shadow Heart, please. Thank you. Didn't it used to be roll to hit before? Uh, could you clarify which uh, ability you're talking about with that? Because it is still like roll to hit um, enemies and stuff. They just don't do the rolls visibly. Uh, it just shows that you, like you have a 50% chance of hitting this enemy. Just so that then that way like you don't worry about dice rolls for like each uh, attack you do. Should have done that beforehand but that's okay. Five is the highest accuracy you seem to be able to have in the game because you always have a five percent chance of rolling in that one. Yep, that seems absolutely correct. There we go. The last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. They were 
tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than blood. I just wonder if the beasts had any friends, and if they're near by. Time to press ahead. Let's grab as much shit from the goblins as I can. I was worried for a second, like, please open the gate. At least things have stayed interesting. Should mind my step. Save. And you're always ready to let them have us. I just remember the first uh, gameplay showcase and I had D20 for each attack. We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! If you want me to take you both down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. Yes, advantage. Use that thaumaturgy. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite Time than a few pack. goblins. We need to leave. We need a healer. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Celestia. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. Thanks we can't stretch, stay, Jack. but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. What brought you here? We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after gnomes attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent? An infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. Cadrin, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Is there a place for tieflings anywhere? Hm, a fair point. We can only hope the citizens of Baldur's Gate are more open-minded. But we can't get there with those beasts blocking our path. Oh, I didn't spoof up my chair. This is uh, my very heavy blanket that I throw over my head and microphone when I'm recording. <laughs> this ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Mm. Uh, like, this parasite takes priority. I can chat to her, but I've got my own shit. 
I'm sorry, I've got my own problems. Turning your back on the needy to save your own skin? Maybe we'll get along after all. I understand. I can only thank you for the help you've already given. If you'll excuse me, I'd best get my people moving. Oh, by the way, I have a full character backstory in my brain for Celestia, um, which is like reasons that I was like, okay, like ranger, noble background, and I'm going to be role playing her a certain way where she's just a little self-centered and a little bit spoiled. Not spoiled in like a, the rich girl sense, but just like she's used to the finer things, putting herself first and all that. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. I'll get to you guys in a second. I need to sell some shit. Faith will guide me. Can I? Yes. I've got some shit to sell. Uh, any other stupid junk we picked up? Okay, I'll sell some shit that we don't need. Mm, I applaud your taste. Let's get going. Please share the backstory in the Discord. Okay, I'll see if I can pen something up. Um. Uh, but otherwise, it might get slowly revealed over time. Who knows? Okay, any armor. I can make use of. I don't think so. Shadowheart's got a shield, so I think she's fine. Pickpocketing you can steal from others while hiding. No. I'm a sneaky fucker, but I'm not going to steal from people like that. Strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? There's a I know there's a blacksmith in the grove. Uh, that we can sell some shit to, but I want to dump a lot of like this unneeded stuff. I do want to keep the portrait though. <laughs> stuff bear, this bear, off torn and repaired, seems one good squeeze away from crumbling into mouldering stuffing and threadbare patchwork. Oh, we'll see if we can sell some stuff. What's up for discussion? Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. On an unrelated note, are the dragonborn in this game so good looking? Honestly, they knocked it out of the park with how good the dragonborn look. I a thousand percent agree with you, Caterin. Like, I think I'm going to be picking a dragonborn for like another playthrough of this game uh, at a later date. Probably I want to do maybe like Draconic Bloodline Sorcerer with them. Um, but like the texture of the scales and all the different horns and everything just mwah, so good. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. All right. There are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. Okay. Sells all of this unneeded shit and these gemstones. I might hold on to the ruby and the pearl. Like, and the jade, just because that seems like it could be something quite useful. Uh, could you keep your little domestic spat down a bit? I'm trying to conduct business. <laughs> that was heavy. I'm going to get rid of that. No, I need to pick what it is I want to barter for. Oh, gloves and missile snaring. Those are so cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then we can change color of armor and stuff. That's nice. Bring a flinging. I don't. Uh, do you throw damage? What about the painting? I was thinking about selling the painting. Oh, actually, that fetches a very, very pretty price. You would choose strangers over us. Uh. What I said. Can we stop shouting? No. 
Actually, let's just get these, like, sell this junk for gold first. Yep, I think I'm good with that. And then we can sell this other, uh, other stuff for the blacksmith, so... Ooh, yes. So that goes for 15 gold pieces, and that's very nice. And it's a little heavy as well, so we could sell that. Uh, what else? Everything else is quite useful. I'm gonna sell an unneed torch. And there's a blacksmith uh, further in that we can sell some of this junk to as well. Calm Very down. nice. Okay. Please. Anything shiny I can I get. Leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Ooh. How much is that? 230 gold. We've got 500 gold to play with. Spell Thief, Arcane for him. It's once per short rest, you regain a level 1 spell slot when you land a critical hit with a Spell Thief. Oh, I kind of only want to focus on, like, maybe prioritizing armor. Hedge Wanderer armor. That is pretty good. Plus one to, uh, bonus dexterity, saving throws and checks. The Hedge Wanderer armor gives me plus one to nature. Let's go sell the shit, uh, all this unneeded shit to the blacksmith first, and then we can see what we're working with. Sylvanas, guide your path. Moving in. I currently have a lot of weapons and armor in my pockets. Gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your. No helping it. We're exposed now. For a good while after this. Where did I put that old bucket? Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Let me see your words. Alrighty, time to get rid of a Darn of shit. Also, I figured because they're a blacksmith, they might give me a slightly better price, maybe. Also have more weapons and armor to choose from. Surely good armor do you have? Light armor plus one. That would give me a plus two or to my armor class, which would be really useful. Added armor. Hide armor. armor would be very useful. Like, the Spell Thief is good? Ooh. Ooh, actually this is really good for me, I think. I'm the main character, like, I'm- I'm- this is my character, so I'm gonna prioritize getting her, like, important weapons a little bit first. Uh, Feller of Monsters, you have an advantage against monstrosity-type enemies. Weapon enchantment plus one. Proficiency with this uh, weapon type unlock. Supple and strong, this short is imbued with a range of solemn magic. Running your fingers along the smooth ash, you can feel the solemnity like a ghost in the shape of wood. Like, a longbow does more damage. 5 to 12, 5 to 10. But that... That is quite good, though. I usually go for a longbow, though. I, we pick our archetype at level 1 for ranges. Mm -hmm. For like what kind of ranger we are. Hmm. One fifty. They're both the same price. Hmm. 
Mm. I might still go with... Actually, no. I'm going to get the... Ah, shit. It's also good. Actually... Yeah, I don't think he has enough gold to pay me for everything. So I'm just going to go back to the other guy and get the more, um, uh, the other bow, I think, and maybe the other armor. Because it's still like over a thousand gold we can now play with. Oh, actually, uh, absolute spain on a melee hit, possibly inflict. Oh, on a melee hit, possibly inflicts uh, a 1d4 penalty to the attacks. Uh, no, it gives you, like, uh, benefits, but no, selling that shit. Uh, actually, I'll sell it to the other guy because he had more gold. Damn, Druids. Who uses you do to work when we get to the city? Short bow advantage is huge. Hmm, good idea actually. And yeah, special abilities like that are quite useful, and especially if it allows me to like go after. Looking for steel. I have, well, something close. Uh, a whole different type of uh, enemies than yes, actually. And like, that spear is useful, but I can't really use it. Okay. Let's grab that short bow. And I'll sell my old bow. Perfect. Actually, did you have any uh, other daggers? A better morning star for Shadow Heart would be quite good, actually. You know, I'm gonna give everyone better weapons. Um, so, that better morning star for. Because yeah, Shadowheart can wield morning stars, can't she? And then starring can get like crossbow. Cause I think we'll be picking up some nicer armor along the way. Can't afford to stay idle. What to do? There we go. I wonder what the next move is. I'm in a generous mood, everyone. Go. No one back home will ever believe this. And Gail, I already gave you um uh better scrolls anyway. Another step forward. <sighs> Sam, you're gonna be a, in a lot of trouble if like you get flustered at every single word that is, comes out of a Starian's mouth. <clears throat> like I do. Calm down. Need anything else? Please. Of course. But please, remember. You're not the only one in need. Yeah. Astarian just he he won't shut the fuck up. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna sell two of those. Because I know that spell. And, um... So I think it's just Gale who could benefit from that. Actually, no, it could be useful like if I wanted to use that on a Starian and then I'm casting it from... Actually, no, because if I'm casting it from a, a scroll, I would still be the one that would need to hold concentration on it and I can cast that innately as a ranger, so never mind. Have you played D&D 5th Edition, Steph? I have. I've played a lot of 5th Edition. <laughs> Some silver ingot because that's quite useful and it's heavy. 
I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about Actually, your no. stupid apprenticeship. Take that back right now. Change shirt, head wonder armor. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get the Hedge Wanderer armor. Because I've been getting the shit kicked out of me, and oh my god, it looks perfect. Yes, yes, and yes. Yep, perfect. Sylvanas be with you. We don't even know these people! That doesn't matter. Of course it does! You would choose strangers over us. That's Pels! We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or well, yell louder. That's fine too. I would say I'm gonna lean maybe more into the tiefling side. Have you forgotten Elturel? We should stand by our people. No one else will. This isn't Elturel, and I'm not responsible for every damn tiefling in the world! Just be responsible for yourself then. We have to stay. It's the right thing to do. Sirk. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. There we go. Now you can all shut the fuck up and stop shouting. I'd die if I met the Roic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the I swear that Ox's gaze is following me. Hang on. I don't speak with animals yet, but... What's up? The Ox makes you uneasy. Try to discern why. Wait. Is this a wild shape shenanigan? Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Moo! Excuse me? Uh... Why did it say moo? I'm just gonna look the other way. For now. It just said Moo. I'm very weirded out. Oh, we, we've got enough points to level up. Okay, perfect. Ranger level three. Yes. Yes, Ranger's Companions. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's pick my spell. Um... Speak with animals is so useful. For this game because yes there are so many animals you can speak to i have to now like because also we get into a lot of fights we're going to be leveling up at a nice consistent pace so speak with animals because then i can pick my next spell soon Ooh, legacy of Avena steering smite Ooh, okay good to know subclass beastmaster oh okay so beastmaster Gloomstalker or Hunter. I'm gonna go with Beastmaster because I want an animal companion. Like, I have Find Familiar at the moment. East Tamer Passive Feature. Keep it the veil. Yes, let's go with Beastmaster. Um, and I think I'm good for my current spells. Yes. Yes! 
Uh, do I have to pick that animal now? I don't think so. Okay, another look, Ranger. Pick the spells. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, look, I've been streaming for almost four hours. <laughs> Whoops. How are you guys holding up? Alrighty. So let's pick our spells. Ooh, got level two spells now. Okay, and let's pick some level two spells. Spiritual weapon, yes. Prayer of healing is so useful. Then again, we do take regular short rests, though. I'm going to actually grab Bless and then Spiritual Weapon, I think. So we've got Inflict Wounds, Guiding Bolt, Healing Word, Cure Wounds, Bless, and Spiritual Weapon. This is awesome as heck and I want to buy the game, but I don't know if my computer could handle it. That is absolutely valid. Like, this is a hefty game. Like, I'm playing it on, like, its highest graphics and everything. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I cannot recommend this game enough. But honestly, it wouldn't hurt to check that your PC can handle it. Okay, Starion. Time to level up. Alrighty. So, subclass. I gotta go assassin with you. Uh, you prefer to deal sublime punishment to a single throw at a time, not in a dual mind, uh, because the duel implies chivalry, and you're too busy getting a job done for honor. Uh, you're deadliest against an unprepared enemies in combat. You have advantage on attack rolls against enemies that haven't taken a turn yet. Yes, perfect. Yes, the Starion's a rogue. And he's wonderful. Uh, assassinate ambush any attack successful attack roll against a surprise creature is a critical hit perfect quick as an ally can in rain dark city you can immediately restore your action and bonus action at the start of combat yes yes and yes i'm gonna go assassin with you because before we only had thief and arcane trickster available in the early access but assassin just fits his character so perfectly so i'm gonna go with assassin and gale You've got more spells available. Uh, mirror image, because that's really, really useful for you. Um, Scorching Ray. Misty Step is also really useful, but... Oh no, I want to wait until... We've got one more utility-based one. I want to pick something else. Magic Weapon. Scorching Ray is quite useful, and that... If that hits, that deals a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you with mirror image because that's really good. Uh, if someone gets up close and personal, and then scorching ray for damage, I think. And prepare our spells. I haven't used thunder wave yet. That's quite useful. Witch bolt is a bit hit and miss, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Mage armor, kind of orb. Burning Hands, Thunder Wave, Scorching Ray, and Mirror Image. Flaming Orb is also pretty strong, but I find, at least personally, it's sometimes a little tricky to get right. Like, it's... You have to be quite on point when it comes to getting the positioning just right. God, I've got so many spells, Shadow Heart. Um, 
lost in thought. Got more spells than Gale at the moment. Okay, let's have a quick chat with this ox and then maybe we'll consider easing into the end of the night, I think. I kind of want to get um, Lazelle over here uh, because there is the thing that we want to do. Hang on. I'm working on it. I just have a lot of shit. So Okay, that's a bit better. I need to know what the fuck is up with you. Ah, huh? you're addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. Okay, what is up with this fucking ox? I need to know. Come on. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. There's more to you than meets the eye. Care to explain? No. You are incapable. All of these are great. Okay, I'm good at persuasion though. Come on, old chap. I'm a devil for gossip. Hey. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate. With or without the rest of these poor sods. Now. That's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Moo. What the fuck are you? Nothing here for Funny. you. That's a fucked up cow. I'm getting Black Phillip from the witch vibes from you. <sighs> oh god. Okay. Oh. Okay, Zora is down there. You know what? Let's save that little interaction for later because that takes a, a hot minute to go back to camp, get Lazelle, and then come back. Well, we still got a few minutes before I do a full four hours. And I spent the first, you know, like, hour making my character. So, let's just have a little look around, shall we? Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. You know what? I want to try and mimic the, his little trick. Come on. I don't want to be a dick or anything, but... Come on, come on. Yes! Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails? Tails. Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hold on. One talk coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Heads. Heads! There. Happy? Here, take your ring back. I want to see your wares. You got it. One sec. That's the 
that's what I got. Okay. Time to buy stuff from children, apparently. <laughs> I'm just trying to also see if, like, maybe he gave, would give me a better price on, like, the gems that I have, maybe? But it doesn't look like it. Child, what are you doing with a pitcher of beer? You little scamp. Ring of being really invisible. This ring is missing its gem. Or perhaps it's just really invisible. Ring of, uh, like, Kinesius. A small pebble swings from the length of fishing line tied to, this, tied to this copper ring. Ring of infinite wishes. The exterior of this ring is roughly carved with nonsensical runes. Ring of resistance to ants. <laughs> a glob of trees studded with dead ants occupies the space where the ring stone once sat. Like, I, I can't with this game. I, I can't with how gorgeous this game is. I love it. Nothing caught you. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Was I getting pickpocketed? Can I? I'm just going to observe her. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. I've seen a pickpocket or two in my life. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Athletics check, lunge at her, real tears or not, she tried to rob you! <laughs> yeah, let's beat the shit out of a child! <laughs> okay, she does have some, like, Silesia, she has some softness to her, especially like, tiefling orphans, like, Come on, she may be nobility, but she's not going to beat down a little kid. Ugh, relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Oh, fine. What's next? At the ready. Is that blood? Wanted the easy path. Please, last room. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corgus' judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> yes. Ooh. Oh yes. We could have taken those guards. Because I want my raven with me. These things over. Oh, he's beautiful. His name is Corvus. Oh, he's so shiny. Because I don't know if having an animal companion will also get me brownie points with the druids. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Okay. We'll take care of that in a second, but I've actually thought of a lovely way that we could maybe end tonight's stream if she's here. Is she? Yes, she's here. Okay. It's just a really, really nice little moment that then would be like a nice way to end the stream. So I'm just gonna save. Words 
of mine will change. No. Become... Ugh. How can I put this? That sounded a little... unpolished. It sounded like a cat being strangled. God damn it! Are you alright? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? And that's the creative process for you. Agony and ecstasy. Uh, mostly agony. True. And when you finally perfect a song, there's nothing like it. But when you're stuck and it's just getting worse, ugh. Can I help you finish the song? Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first, what's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Non encouragement and gesture her gesture to her lute. Words of mine will turn to ash. When you call the last light down. Yes! Yes! Okay, I finally get to see this full moment. If anything's changed, but it's so beautiful. Sorry. Don't worry. Cry as much as you need. <laughs> She'd have said the same thing. 
That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her loot. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Alright. And with that beautiful note quite literally um we'll save it and we'll wrap things up for tonight so saving and after a lovely brief four hour stream for part one of this amazing amazing game um we're going to be wrapping things up for tonight so thank you all so very much for joining me tonight here at the Blue Rose Respite. I had so much fun with this game and we're just going to be continuing it until we get to like the main end of the story and I'm so so excited to keep exploring this game with you guys like I have been dying to play this game for so long so thank you all so very much for joining me tonight and I will see you on Sunday for more Cult of the Lamb. If you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials that have popped up in the chat, including my ASMR tales and my Twitch VODs on my two YouTube channels uh, and my Twitch, uh, sorry, my Twitter, my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, a new ASMR tale will be, will be coming out tomorrow evening on my YouTube channel. So keep an eye on my socials for that. Um, I might do a premiere for it just because it's my first video back since coming out of hiatus. So let's make it a little bit special, shall we? So a four hour stream per session, so 100 days. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. But let's see who's currently live. We'll send them some love. Hey, Brian and Amelia over at Deckard Games is currently streaming. So I'm sending you guys over to them. So please give them a ton of love uh, from me and the Blue Rose Respite. And I will see you on Sunday for more Cult of the Lamb. Thank you all so very much for joining me for the uh, resubs and the newcomers tonight. There were quite a few newcomers tonight. I hope you had a great time and I hope to see you again. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, stay working and wonderful. Good night, my lovelies.